the 24th of February I got my new to me machine over here it is a Powermatic metal cutting bandsaw uh, it's a government surplus unit and under their contract the government had paid twenty thousand four hundred fifty one dollars and thirty three cents for it when new back in the day it basically it's unknown condition I have to go completely through it and see what we got currently wired 240 volt three phase and it's very heavy that much I do know has a coolant system on it non-functioning of course blade welder that you can grind and anneal the blade after welding I'm not sure if that even functions infinitely variable speed and when I rattle it in this area of the machine there's something rattling around pretty good gotta pull some panels off and see what that is this is the cutter to cut your blade material there yeah it's just a big old unknown right now but I'll get it sorted out I always do gonna take a while this is not where it's going to end up first off it's in the wrong orientation I'll probably pivot it at least 90 degrees and have the uh, control box over here by this locker here and if I'm at the operator station I'll be looking this way toward the machine so that's the operator station there so another good project well, hopefully it doesn't take a whole lot to get it sorted out but if it does it does it is quite the machine there's a few broken components uh, some things have been uh, modified over the decades this machine is probably from the 70s or 80s I can look up the serial number to get with Powermatic uh, try to find a manual and uh but yeah got it over here without dropping it and they were nice enough to get it to the loading dock for me which helped me a lot appreciate that so quite the machine and moving on I decided to go ahead and coat this area here where I floated the floor with the sealant this is what I found H and C concrete steeler natural look oil based this can should be just enough I hope if not they got more I can go buy another can if needed I'm going to do that this afternoon and let that be drying over the weekend so that's the plan but the floor turned out good now it's all different shades again this is actually an underlayment you would never see this uh, you'd either carpet over it wood floor over it tile over it something and it's it's an underlayment it's not a finished product uh, this one turned out more uniform in color but still has variances just like this one does ain't no big deal for my purposes it's perfect so let me get to work that's all for this one let me know what you think of my powermatic you know what fair market value is uh, based on its age of 40 years be sure and leave me a comment because i'm clueless i know what i paid for it and what I paid for it, I can't get hurt unless I have to completely scrap it out. Then I would. But I think I can save it. Let's, like I said, except for a few small components that are associated with angle cuts and things like that, it's all there. 
So, uh, yeah, I'll get torn into it and see what I got. Thank you.